Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to set up an HTTP web server so you can control your GPIO pins on your Raspberry Pi. Before we actually get started, let me show you what the plan is. An LED has two states, a high state which is on and a low state which is off. What we're going to be doing is changing those states using this uh, GPIO pin number 18. So what we're going to be able to do is go inside to any browser on our network and go to Raspberry Pi's IP address which we can find easily using a command. So what you would do is go to your web browser and type in uh, the IP address followed by a port number which is running a web service there. Inside of this website, we're going to have two buttons. One is going to be on and one is going to be off. So when you press the on button, we're, it's going to send a signal to the high state for the LED. And when you press off, it's going to send a low signal, which uh, turns off the LED. Here are some things that we're going to be using. Raspberry Pi. jumper wires, a breadboard, followed by LED with a resistor of 220 ohms. This is the circuit diagram that we're going to be using. If you are familiar with this, you can skip the next few steps. Now we're going to connect the power and the ground to the breadboard. Next, we'll place an LED into any slot that you choose. Now we're going to ground the LED to the ground rail. To prevent the LED from having too much power, we're going to place a 220 ohms resistor. So go to the positive side of the LED and place the resistor there. Now take your positive wire and connect it to the positive rail. Now take that positive side that we just were testing with and let's place this into GPIO pin number 18. Once you plug it in, we're all set with the breadboard. Everything else is going to be on the computer. So now let's log into our Raspberry Pi using an SSH connection. This file will control the LED from the terminal. First thing that we're going to do is uh, set up the GPIO pins, in particular number 18. Then this next function is going to print out the temperature for, uh, for the Raspberry Pi. And this next function is going to control the LED. So you can type in uh, 0 or 1 and it's going to send a high or low signal to GPIO pin number 18 which is connected to the LED. There's no need to type out all this code. I have provided my GitHub link in the description down below.
Now let's set up a web server so that we can control this remotely. First thing you're going to want to do is check your IP address for your Raspberry Pi. So copy this and place it where it says host underscore name. Now this is the same thing that we saw in the other file, just basically setting the GPI opens and temperature. The way that we're going to turn uh, the LED on or off is by a post method with um, two buttons in the, um, in the web browser. So if it's on, we're going to send a high signal. If it's off, we're going to send a low signal. Start the program and open up a web browser on your computer. Copy this address and we can just place it in just like how it is. In the terminal, we can see all the activity that is going on, followed by the current status of the LED. So this wraps up this uh, tutorial. If you are interested in more, feel free to check out my channel, and I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.